but he is the embodiment of the American dream, a deal maker without peer. The president and chairman of the Trump Organization, star and producer of the hit series The Apprentice, and he's also a best-selling author. Please welcome Donald Trump. Good-looking building, isn't it? So this morning, I was asked by a major television station whether or not Vince McMahon and myself were friends. And I said very simply, we used to be, but I don't like them one damn bit lately, I can tell you that, and I mean that. He's not a good guy. He treats his fans and he treats people like crap. And I truly do not like him. I said to him the other night in the ring, and I mean it, I'm taller than him. I'm better looking than him. I'm richer than him. And you know what? The thing that really bothered him, I said, I think I'm stronger than him. But I'm going to get somebody that's really strong, and I mean really, really strong, because I had my choice of anybody. And Vince picked Umaga. And I did some research, and I spoke to the other wrestlers. And I decided to pick ECW world champion Bobby Lashley. Come on, Bobby. Letters I L M D. I say it all the time and I'm saying it again. I'm living my dream. I L M D. First one I want to say is Donald Trump, it's an honor to be chosen by you in the Battle of the Billionaires. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna let you down. And for someone else. Mr. McMahon, for the past month and a half, you made my life a living hell. So I'm going to make a guarantee to you, and I'm going to make a guarantee to everyone here, that at the end of WrestleMania 23, you, Vince McMahon, will be leaving the arena bald. I'm living my dream. Ladies and gentlemen, in a matchup of this magnitude, you can't just have any 
ordinary referee. You have to have somebody special. So our guest at this time is the star of the upcoming WWE films action adventure film, The Condemned. He is a six time WWE champion. He is the Texas rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's good to be here today. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. And, uh, you know, this is WrestleMania 23. It's in Detroit. It's at Ford Field. And I really didn't think I was going to be at another WrestleMania, so I'm so excited to be here. But when I'm sitting back here and I hear Vince McMahon talking about what WrestleMania is, kind of like a Super Bowl or it's like uh, the World Series or something like that, it really pisses me off when someone undersells what WrestleMania is. Because Jesus Christ, son, this is way bigger than a Super Bowl. It's bigger than a World Series. It's bigger than the Tour de France. You see what I said? Not the Tour de France, the Tour de France. You see what I'm saying? In my opinion, it's bigger than the damn Olympics. But that's just my opinion. To Mr. Trump, this is a nice building. I will agree with that. And uh, when all this is said and done, whether you have your hair or you don't have your hair, I would like to talk with you after WrestleMania 23 because I'd like to put a deer stand at the top of this building. I'm here uh, today to go ahead and uh, say yes, I am the special guest referee in this match. And let me say something, when, when I hear a guy like uh, Bobby Lashley look over at Donald Trump and say, I'm not gonna let you down. Well, let me tell you something, son. It's my rules in that ring, and if you don't abide by that rule, those rules, I'm going to jump on your ass. Do you understand me? Huh? So if Amago was out here, I'd tell him the same damn thing. What we got here is a couple of big egos and a big match, and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is right in the thick of things. I'm going to call it right down the middle. And uh, after this match, there will be a winner, there will be a loser, and there will be a ball billionaire. So before we have that bald billionaire, I'd like to bring uh, Vince McMahon and Donald Trump to the front here for one last photo op while one of them still has their hair. So if I could, Vince, come down. Please come down. Don't look at me like that. I'll drag you down. Donald, please come down. Put you on this side, Donald. This is about the, uh, before Sunday for one of you guys uh, gets the big haircut, so let's snap a couple of pictures, please.
WrestleMania, where we get to show the world what we're about. That I am more than just a pretty face. That I am king of the world. That we're all grown up. What went through your head as you slapped Vince McMahon? Well, he had no right to touch me, and he started playing around, and I gave him a wallop, and I think it had a pretty big impact. Actually, he's got a little problem with his face right now. Do you think this fight's going to escalate, uh, or is it uh, if you two see each other again? I think it's going to escalate. I mean, I don't like him anymore. I used to, he used to be a friend of mine. I do not like Vince McMahon. I don't like what he stands for, what he represents, and I think actually it's going to escalate. Now, if you have to shave your head, are you going to wear a hat? I think probably if I have to shave my head, I'll be wearing a hat. Yeah, I think I'll bring a hat along just in case. I hope Bobby wins. I don't want to put any negative spell on it. But in case Bobby Lashley, who's the champion, if he loses, I get my head shaved, and I'm not going to be happy about that.